Schweizer Electronic AG is a global best-in-class technology company. At the German headquarters in Schramberg in the Black Forest, Schweizer produces premium printed circuit boards and innovative solutions for automotive, solar, aviation and industrial electronics. Printed circuit boards form the basis of all electronic devices in our daily life. There are two different processing types for PCBs, panel plating and pattern plating. In the panel plating procedure, the entire base material is coated with a copper layer. In the pattern plating procedure, only the later pattern of the board is plated with copper. You will now get a detailed insight into the panel plating procedure. We start with the base material, which stands at the beginning of every printed circuit board production. It consists of a glass fiber reinforced and cured artificial resin with a copper foil pre-bonded onto each side. The copper foil has a standard thickness of 18 to 70 micrometers. This base material is called production panel and it is the standard format used at Schweizer. One of the first steps within the production process is the drilling of the board. For cost efficiency reasons, several boards stacked on top of each other are drilled at the same time using drills with a diameter of 0.2 to 6 millimeters. One drilling spindle has a capacity of up to 600 holes per minute. A production panel has, on average, 100,000 holes. The holes serve as a connection between the different layers of a board. Smaller holes, as in HDI constructions, for example, are drilled with a laser. The next process stage is called desmearing. This involves the cleaning of the holes with an alkaline, highly oxidizing solution consisting of sodium hydroxide and potassium permanganate. In the direct plating process afterwards, the whole walls are coated with a conductive polymer. To strengthen this rather weak electrical connection, the thin polymer layer, as well as the entire surface of the board, are then plated with copper. As you can see here, the panel is immersed into various solutions about 10 times. This galvanic process is based on electrolysis. While the panels are electrically connected with the cathode, the anode is connected to copper balls which dissolve during this process. The current flow initiates the copper deposition. In general, 25 micrometers of copper are deposited into the holes and 30 micrometers onto the surface. The whole process takes about 90 minutes. Every panel is customer specific. To ensure this, the individual customer layout is printed onto the panel by exposure using a photosensitive film called the photoresist. But first of all, the panel undergoes chemical cleaning. After pre-cleaning, it enters the preheating zone of the laminator. The laminator is located in a clean room which is illuminated with yellow light to prevent the photoresist from exposure to UV light ahead of time. The rollers of the laminator apply the photoresist onto the entire surface of each side of the panel. In order to transfer the customer-specific layout onto the panel, we need an artwork film. It consists of transparent, translucent structures as well as black, lightproof structures. In the automatic exposure machine, the film is now precisely aligned to the manufacturing panel, lowered with the help of a vacuum, and then exposed. After the exposure, the translucent structures show the panel layout according to customer specifications. To make sure that the conducting tracks will be visible, all the unwanted copper has to be etched away. 
Therefore, the unexposed parts of the photoresist are rinsed using wet process chemicals such as soda solution. The bare copper is now visible. The exposed hardened parts of the photoresist remain on the surface of the copper plating and serve as etch resist in the following stage called pattern etching. In this stage, the parts of the plated and the base copper, which are not protected by the photoresist, are etched away with copper chloride etchant. The photoresist is then stripped off the surface with an aqueous solution of sodium hydroxide, bringing the bright copper tracks on the panel to light. What you can see now is a double-sided printed circuit board. Double-sided printed circuit boards serve as inner layers and as base in multi-layer structures. Here a prepreg as well as a further copper layer are bonded together onto each side of the inner layer using mechanical pressure and a temperature of about 200 degrees Celsius. The prepreg consists of glass fibers soaked with uncured artificial resin. It isolates the outer copper layer from the inner layer. This multi-layer board is now being processed in the same way as the double-sided boards before. Several different drills and the subsequent through-hole plating ensure the electrical connection between the various layers. In order to protect the conducting tracks from corrosion and other environmental impacts, the panel is now entirely coated with green, light-sensitive liquid photo solder mask. Other colors than green are available as well. As you can see, the solder mask is applied through a curtain coating process. There are, of course, alternative processes such as roller coating, screen printing, or spraying. Afterwards, the assembly pads for components are released from the solder mask by exposing the panel to light again and developing it analogous to the pattern printing process. During the exposure, the panel is exposed to UV light with 8,000 watts on each side. This is equivalent to three times the solar radiation on a bright hot summer day. When being exposed, the areas of the solder mask which lie under the transparent part of the film are hardened, while the areas under the black part of the film remain unexposed. These are removed within the subsequent development process. The assembly pads now become visible. They serve as contact points for components at a later stage. Having been brought to light by the solder mask process, the exposed copper is now coated with a final surface finish. The most common types of surface finishing are organic surface protection, electroless tin, hot air solder leveling, and two different types of gold surfaces. These are electroless gold and Enipak, which consists of layers of electroless nickel, electroless palladium, and autocatalytic deposited gold. You will now see the application of a gold surface. After the surface finishing, the individual printed circuit boards are cut from the frame of the production panel. Depending on customer requirements, this is carried out through punching, contour routing or groove milling.
Schweitzer stands for excellent quality and applies comprehensive electrical and optical tests in order to maintain its quality standard. Electrical testing distinguishes between two common procedures, the flying probe for samples and small series and the adapter test for middle-sized and high-volume series. These pictures demonstrate the flying probe, showing two probes checking the tracks for shorts and opens. About 3,000 electrical connections can be checked within 60 seconds. The electrical testing is followed by an optical control before the individual printed circuit boards are packed suitably for transport and sent to the customers. This documentary covered the most essential stages of printed circuit board production at Schweitzer. Such printed circuit boards form the basis for specialized innovative solutions in automotive, solar, aviation and industrial electronics.